it's the with Jesus photography and I'm going to show a couple uh, quick runs to my braces remover action which will be free in my shop tomorrow morning um, Shayna Harrison sent this picture in for me to test it out on we're going to zoom in really quick and I'm going to run my action give it a second when it's finished it's going to have two different layers one's a braces remover one's dodge burn uh, brace remover is actually group you can open it up and see the three different um, layers that revolve around that one um, you can go in and tweak these if you need to the group is it should be pretty on point um, I forgot what was that but sorry I left for a second anyway um, it should be fine with just this but you can go in and tweak it if you need to what you want to do is zoom in to the braces get a brush um, soft white at 100% And then just brush right over the brace area. Actually, I'm brushing over the entire tooth so it blends better. You can do like 50% and then make it blend better, especially in the creases. Sorry, this is taking longer. I didn't take that long, but it's just time consuming to go through each tooth. I don't have good lighting right here, so. Um, there is also a dodge burn, and you can use that to define the teeth in better. Um, 50%, I would say at 25%. You can put your highlights on your teeth in the middles. And then go get black brush and um, run down the center, so the sides of the teeth. And then the corner of the mouth. And the bottom teeth can be uh, burned a little bit. She doesn't have her selling. So it's not a big deal. And then you can dust that down. So that was before. And that was after. And okay. So we're going to do it on another image. This was from AllegraImages.com. Sent this one. Let me run my action really quick. And I'm just going to do the same thing I just did on the other image. As you can see on this one, her bottom teeth were much uh, darker and it's because of shadowing. So I'm going to have to go back on that dodge burn and burn it in a minute. And I'm going down a lower opacity on the corners. It's harder to do the corners of the mouth and you should um, burn those. Or you could just try to get clone or your healing brush and see if it does anything better. Alright. 
Oh, that's why I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I had to raise my opacity and I didn't notice. It's in our brushing, nothing. So that's probably stronger than I want it to be down there, but. Just a second, I changed brushes. Alright, sorry. Like I said, use a black brush, burn that around the teeth, the edges. Burn the outer edges of the mouth here. Uh, turn it white and dodge the center of the teeth. Bring out that natural highlight the teeth have. And zoom out. And there you go. Before after. And another one, this one was sent by Anna Tidmore. Let's zoom in on this baby. Oh, there we go, that's better. And on the action. Same as last two, get a brush, brush on. Dodge burn, wet brush, 20% down center, get your wet brush, burn, down the sides, And then you can adjust that if you want too strong like I just did. There you go. Let's go. Before and after. And if you wanted to, like I said, you can open this up. If you're opening it up in elements, um, you'll need to use a layer mask and invert them all. That's easy by hitting Alt holding alt down and then click a layer mask and invert it. That's if you open the um, group up. You can just leave the group as is. But if you want to change the color, you can. But the color that's chosen pretty much um, is a really poor sunny color. You can go lighter if you need to. Obviously every person's teeth are a little bit different. And this is the texture, and you can take it down if it's too much grain, or it can go up if it's not enough. And the, this one you don't want to touch at all, because that's what gets rid of the actual braces. And hope that was helpful. Thanks!